Hello, my name is Martin Galano and I'm going to show you my Black History Month project. So, we are going to talk about Langston Hughes. He was a poet and a writer. Now, let's begin with his story. He, he was born in the, in the start of the 20th century, of the 20th century. Now, let's talk about his childhood. Langston was born in February 1, in 1902 in Joplin, Missouri. His parents were Carly Mercer Langston and James Natalie Hughes. Langston Hughes also had a younger brother, John Mercer Langston. Most of his childhood was spent in Lawrence, Kansas. Later, his father left the family and divorced Curly going to Cuba and later Mexico to escape the enduring racism in the U.S. His family was from different races. His mom was white and, his, and he was black and so, also was his dad. Now, he went to Mexico and Cuba. In Mexico and Cuba, he learned Spanish that would come in handy in the few years. First, and he went to U Lincoln University. After being in Lincoln University, he moved to Columbia University, where he only stayed one year before exploring the world. He went on the he went on the SS Malone, although the trial to Africa to Paris. He stayed in Paris for a few months and then went back to the United States. In the United States, he started working as a in a hotel. And then Valco Lindsay, that was a poet, found him and helped him become famous, a, a famous writer and a poet. He, he got famous and moved to Harlem. In Harlem, he became in, in a group called the Harlem Re Renaissance Movement that meant that the neighbor had no fear of changing their culture and moving it. And they did that by doing poetry, jazz, writing, and blues and having union and meeting in somewhere called Cotton Club. He, he, remember that I told you that Spanish would come in handy? Well, this is it. He was in the Spanish Civil War and he was a newsman. 
that tell the news to the to the to the soldiers. And also he met with the electoral elite of Europe. Imagine that. And he became world famous. There were, he made many books of children, poetry, and many others. But let's talk about eight. The Negro Speaks of Rivers was formed in 1921. And another one is Mother to Son, 1922. And another one is Dreams, 1922. And one that, that I like a lot, but not my favorite, is the Worry Blues, 1925. The next one is Poi Boy Blues, that was formed in 1926. The next one is Let America Be America Again, which was formed in 1936. And now, Life is Fine, 1949. And I too sing America that is my favorite and that I am going to read to you. Langston Hughes died of complications from cancer in May 22, 1967 in New York City. Now, let me talk to you about the I Too Sing America. Let me read it to you. I am the darker brother. They send me to eat in the kitchen when company comes, but I laugh and eat well and grow strong. Tomorrow, I'll be at the table when company comes Nobody will dare say to me, eat in the kitchen, then, besides, they'll see how beautiful I am and be ashamed. I, too, am America. Thank you for watching. Bye. Hi, I'm Jadina Mori. Today I'm going to be telling you a summary of LeBron James' life. LeBron James is an American basketball player. He was born in Akron, Ohio on December 30, 1984. He had a rough childhood. His father left his mother and him alone. His coach, Frankie Walker, let LeBron stay with him due to the fact that his family and he didn't have much money. He went to St. Vincent St. Mary High School. On, some t on September 14, 2013, he married Savannah Brinson. He has two sons and one daughter. Their names are LeBron Raymond Bronny James Jr., Bryce Maximus James, and Zuri James. In 2004, he set up the LeBron James Family Foundation to help families with single parents. Then, on July 2018, he opened the I Promise School in Akron, Ohio. Ohio. The school is for students who are falling behind in classwork. Only grades three to four are currently open. So by 2022, he aims to make it a school that goes from grades one through eight. Also in 2020, he opened the I Promise Village. This village is for students attending the I Promise School and their families who are struggling. Last, he opened House 330. It is a multi-purpose place for family resources. He has set up all these programs to make sure what happened to him as a child doesn't happen to anyone else. Thank you for looking. Thank you for watching. And this ball is a Lakers ball. And LeBron James currently is playing for Lakers. And this is the Los Angeles Lakers ball. Thank you. Bye. Good morning, everyone. I'd like to thank Jadina and Martin for your Black History presentations. They were amazing. So thank you so much for sharing that with us. Uh, Jadina from Ms. Castro's class and Martin from Ms. A's third grade class. So thank you so much for sharing that with us. Okay, I do have a word of the day I'd like to share with everyone. And today's word of the day is reform. Reform could be a noun or a verb. The definition is the improvement or amendment of what is wrong, corrupt, unsatisfactory, social reform, to change a better state form. 
The need for change sometimes brings about reforms. Synonyms are correction and improve. And my thought of the day is kind, constant kindness can accomplish much. As the sun makes ice melt, kindness causes misunderstanding, mistrust, and hostility to evaporate by Albert Schweitzer. Uh, so listen, does those acts of kindness can accomplish so much. So please keep up your kindness. Everyone's doing a fantastic job with it. This is from Miss Laferty's class. This is another picture of celebrating the 100 days of school. Okay, I do have some I ready shout outs for the week of February 15th through the 21st. Um, Yunav Archukarde, Leanne Balu, Yoni Bloom, Ernesto Canales, Samuel Lucas, Arthur Petkov, Daniel Rabinovich, Sofia Abachura, Paula Archoda, Gerano Katamayo, Joaquin Frale, Alina Goskova, Zadra Gurvich, Diego Gutierrez, Daniel Masawi, Nicholas Rugna, Francisco Schneider, Lucas Silverman, Daniel Trofisky, Maximo Uribe. That is from Mr. Uoa's class and from Ms. Stewart and Mr. Branson's homeroom for reading. Uh, I ready 100% past lessons and minutes completed the week of February 15th through the 21st. Nicholas A, Isabella, Gianfranco, George, Gabriel, um, Abigail, Narita, G Gabriel, Sophia, Alejandro, Federico, Joseph, Patricio, Sebastian, Vladimir, uh, Stephanie, Valentino, and Juan. Congratulations. Uh, those are some great I ready shout outs. Okay, so this is from Miss Edmund, and this is Miss Edmund's I Ready Reading Superstars Natalie, Victoria, Alejandro, Adrian, and Haifa. And for Mr. Cordero's homeroom, uh, for Miss Edmund, Maya B, Ricardo B, Romy, Anastasia, Mia, and Jos Jos Josephia. I'm so sorry. If I mispronounce anyone's names, I totally, totally 100% apologize for that. So congratulations, I'm so happy for you guys. That is so super awesome, great job. So we are in United Way Week. Today is Dress to Impress. Um, so I hope you're doing that. And tomorrow is Wacky Wednesday, Wacky Wednesday. Don't forget, it's only a dollar, only a dollar and you're supporting the United Way. It's such a good cause. So tomorrow is Wacky Wednesday. Uh, so don't forget to bring in your dollar and you could be all wacky. And today is Dress to Impress. I hope that everybody has a fantastic day today. Thank you for watching WEXP News. Have fun exploring today.